Hello, Tara friends, and welcome back to Tantra and Tara with Kelly, where I'm offering spiritual entertainment for the moment. Today, we're going to do a quickie reading about the energy we have in the sky right now. It is pretty intense. Uh, we have Mars conjunct the sun, sextile Pluto, and we also have the sun square Saturn. <laughs> so that is making things feel a little serious. Um, people could be feeling a little heated, competitive, perhaps. Um, we could see some anger coming out, um, or we could see a lot of just drive, drive for being, ooh, as I said, drive, um, I have a card that just flew on the ground. Um, to begin our reading off, we have the 10 of wands. Um, it's interesting here. We have like Santa looking at his list. It says patience and fortitude conquer all things. You may feel that way right now. You may feel like there's a lot going on. There's a lot to conquer. Um, but in the spirit of that, um, we're going to talk about the fact that it's just business. Um, a lot of life, um, we talk about our emotions and feelings and such, but sometimes it's not about all that water. And it's frankly just about business. Uh, so I like this frame of mind because it cuts out the crap and keeps you focused on the bottom line, which never hurts. <laughs> so if money is emotional for you, then it's time to be cutthroat and get serious, not emotional. Take a sober approach to breaking spending cycles and if you're worried about your self-worth or emotional world, take a look at it as a business owner and make the cuts as needed to the patterns that fail to produce. Um, much like you doing a year to date on the return on investment for your life, remember as the boss of your world, it's just business. So let's see what we have here. Um, kind of a serious tone of mind, but um, it is a bit sobering when we have um, the sun sextile Saturn. So just be careful about lessons that you've learned in the past. So we don't have to relearn them and certainly watching uh, your emotions as well. Bottom of the deck, I've got the five of pentacles. It says resolve to be thyself and know that he who finds himself loses his misery. So a lot of that's about trying to be feeling left out, maybe feeling less than. Um, and perhaps that is why you're um, leaving yourself out. It is a reflection of how you feel about yourself energetically. So bottom of the deck, I've got the six of wands. And um, hopefully you have had some successes um, in this somewhat turbulent time. Um, we've had uh, a lot of a lot of feelings come out instantly. There is an opposition to Uranus. And so that may have just made things a little bit erratic. So try to put your finger on um, what's going to calm things down and finding some success with that could be excellent. Um, what else do I have here? So for the animal spirit card, I've got the cheetah. There is that Mars sun energy coming from the solar plexus just radiating out. I'm sure you're all feeling it to a degree. Um, and then we have which is great because we do have Venus and Libra right now helping things out, being a little bit more diplomatic. We have a win-win outcome is forecast here for the moon card, full moon in Libra. The full moon in Libra isn't until Aries season. Um, however, um, we do have that north node um, in Aries. We have the south node in Libra. Uh, we're going to be having a Venus conjunct the south node. So just being aware of your contracts, being aware of how it is going to be a win-win forecast, because certainly if there's been any arguments, if there's been any um, discrepancies about um, what's going to make a fair contract, um, then you need to look at both sides of it so that it is fair for all. Um, and if it's not fair, then yeah, certainly let's talk about it, right? And let's talk about it. Um, let's not get over emotional about it. So anyway, um, past energy, I have the emperor, current energy, page of wands, future energy, 10 of cups. And the main energy I have is uh, the nine of swords. So we're going to talk a bit about all of these. And this is the art of life tarot, which I love. It has fine art on it and these great quotes. It's one of my favorite decks. So just wanted to mention that. Okay. So with the emperor in the past position here, and I love what he has to say, he says, First, say to yourself, what would you be? And then do what you have to do. And this doesn't necessarily mean being ruthless. Um, it does mean um, pointing your arrow in the direction that you want it to go and going after that, um, perhaps with some reckless abandon, but also um, with clear direction of your goal. 
So being very goal oriented right now is um, the name of the game and it could be helpful of what to do with all of this extra energy. So being goal oriented, um, knowing that it's going to take hard work, but there is a chance, um, yet yeah, says nothing great was ever achieved without enthusiasm. There is a chance that, um, that you may not succeed, but there's a high chance that you will succeed. So um, if you're starting a business, if you are very busy right now because of the holiday seasons, uh, like we said, keep your um, eye on the prize. Um, right here, we've got the page of wands. It's never too late to it's never too late to be what you might have become. And we've got a child here learning. So it could be a learning cycle for you, perhaps learning about your anxiety, learning what is causing it. And um, maybe um, you're working with your father right now, or maybe you're working with some masculine energies that are helping you um, rein in some of this excess, some of this excess mental energy, some of this... Um, uh, need to discuss calmly uh, what may be bothering you. Um, and that's going to lead to the Ten of Cups. Likely we have the Ten of Cups here in the future. We've got, you know, Thanksgiving coming up. We've got uh, a lot of uh, family time coming up. And sometimes that does bring people anxiety. But certainly you can pick your family as well. You don't have to always go with the blood relatives. <laughs> but at the end of the day, um, you know, it may be a short, crazy week for some, um, but at the end, we are going to be enjoying ourselves and having that emotional release in a positive way after putting in the hard work. But yeah, it could be just business time right now. I mean, we've got contracts coming in. We've got a lot of energy. Um, people want to get things finished before the holidays. It could be that bottleneck feeling, um, a little panic involved, but just know that this too shall pass and whatever you're learning right now is going to be uh, for the greater good. And just try not to bring um, that work anxiety into those family um, circles. Um, leave, leave the work at work and enjoy um, the time that you have with your friends and family. And I'm wishing everybody a very safe and happy Thanksgiving and um, Indigenous Day and whatever it is that you are celebrating. Um, let's be thankful and grateful for those of us who are with us. And um, yeah, just focus on calming the mind and enjoying the ride. Uh, <laughs> it could feel like a bit of a roller coaster, but have fun and I will see you soon. Please subscribe to my channel for more Tantra and Tarot.